hey guys welcome back to my channel um this hairstyle I, I know you've seen it on my last tutorial it actually was long at first but since i cut it <laughs> i just can't do long hair but starting out i am using concealer in the shade toffee just to basically conceal my eyes um i'm not doing my eyebrows nor am i putting any foundation or any product on my forehead simply because of this bang and you honestly won't be able to see neither but um my eyebrows i'm letting it grow out because this it was a struggle trying to get it to grow back so i feel like this hairstyle was perfecto for it <laughs> but um right now i'm putting on a two-faced primer this is the peach primer and i actually like this primer it wasn't all cakey and you know extra heavy up on my face it was pretty light and then i'm just using my milani uh, foundation this is in the shade chestnut honestly it matches perfectly to my chest and my neck area but far as my face i didn't i didn't too much like it but i mean it came out cute still you know but like you know when you know your face and it's like mm, something right but <laughs> after today i'm not using it <laughs> but i mean it was cool for the most part Okay, so moving on to concealers, I'm getting ready to use the um, concealer in the shade Chestnut and Toffee. I use two different concealers because uh, Chestnut is a little too close to my skin tone and then Toffee is a little too lighter than my skin tone. So mixing them together is perfect. Uh, set my face and before you set your face make sure you blend out your creases you don't want to set those creases or anything like that so I'm using JCAT uh, Pro Lux powder in the shade porcelain I've been using this for forever and honestly I'm down to the last little bit <laughs> but I love it because it just seamlessly just sinks into your skin once the night is going through maybe in the beginning it looks a little powdery but once you get into like your glands and it starts to sweat you you are a one but right now I'm using my little cracked up almost gone uh, black radiance uh, press powder in the shade black coffee I just love how it makes my cheeks look I mean like freaking snatched honey but um I also I, I do a lot with my contour <laughs> and I also use wet and wild bronzer um I'll put that in the description box because I don't remember the name of it but um I mix those two together and it gives me that warmth that I'm looking for and the last bronzer I'm using is by Precision Formula. This is the Boost Bronzer in the shade Medium to Light. So I'm just basically using that to mix in those two um, con con contours that I used. <laughs> and, you know, of course, cutting those cheeks with the same powder that we used before and then setting our face. What I like to do is press in that uh, spray, the setting spray, which was NYX by the way, um, because I just found that once you press it all in, that powder is basically sinking into the spray that you get, making it your foundation last just a little bit longer. So moving on to blush, um, I am a blush queen. I freaking love blush. Um, I'm using L'Oreal in the shade Berry Amore. No, uh, Brilliant Berry and then um, Milani in the shade Berry Amore. On to highlight, I am using this highlighter palette by Academy of Colors and I'm using these two golden shades. And I'm also using two different brushes. I'm not sure if anybody, you know, that's watching now, seen any of my previous foundation videos. I use, I like to use two different highlighter brushes. One to apply the highlight in this brush right here, the second brush, to basically blend out that highlight just to make the highlight a little bit more seamless. So on to liners, I am using Black Radiance Liner Black Bold and Sexy. And the trick to liner is to close your eyes slightly as you are putting it on. So right here, you can see I slightly like close my eyes a little, not 
completely close them but like slightly as I drag the pencil along it's so much easier I'm telling you you are you like the pencil or whatever the liner that you use will do the trick for you um, and right here I'm using a different um, liner this is a liquid liner it's an off-brand liner I'm not sure what the name of it but I'll be sure to find something similar and I'm just basically making those little cat wolf kind of like you know peaks or whatever you mean that like Egyptian goddess kind of feel <laughs> but um, <laughs> nothing special and then I'm going back in with that same liner to basically make it matte because like um, the liquid liner is a little bit shiny and the other one is matte so Okay, so on to lips, I am using a uh, Precision Formula uh, Black Liner. I always use black when I use red lipstick simply because it gives me that crisp, like, kind of look and almost like a, a mauve, not so bright red, if that makes sense. And honestly, when you mix a black and a red together, it kind of gives it that burgundy kind of feel but still leaving it like red. So um, I'm using NYX uh, lipstick. Um, this is a matte uh, lipstick. The other one I was gonna use was glossy and it, it just didn't look right. But um, yeah, I'm using this NYX lipstick and it's so cute and that black mixed together gives it that just really like sexy kind of look and it's just, it's just A1. Okay, so she is done and she is cute if you guys love this look please comment below what you like about this look and you know just anything anything that you want to see on my channel and if you just like this video please look, give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe before you guys leave and I hope to see you guys on the next video thanks again for watching bye